welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my updated perfume collection. It's been a little over a year, I think, since I've shared on this topic and um, my collection has changed a little bit and I think my scent profile has also changed a little bit so I thought I would do an update for you guys. And this past year, I've definitely gone more into home scents. Most of us were just stuck at home for most of the year so I have been making the effort and trying to make my home more comfortable for myself. So I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite home scents towards the end of this video. So I'm going to start off with a scent that I have been using a lot recently and this is the Aaron E-Cat Jasmine. This is an absolutely beautiful scent. I love Aaron perfumes overall. My previous favorite was Lilac Path which is also a beautiful spring scent from Aaron. And this one I would say it is a lot more all seasons. Uh, you can use it during the winter, you can use it during the spring. Um, it is also a very nice floral scent. You can't go wrong with Aaron perfume because they're just so pleasant. Um, even if you spray a lot on, it's not going to be too invasive. Only downside is that these perfumes are not very long lasting. They only last about two to three hours on me. Even when I spray some on my clothes and like try to make it more long lasting, um, it only lasts about like three hours ish. But the scents are absolutely beautiful. They're very girly. I think very appealing to younger girls. Um, but for me, like. Ikat Jasmine is my typical work scent. If I want to get into this I'm ready for work type of mode, um, this is the scent I go for. Next up, also one of my all-time favorite fragrances and also a classic, I think, is the Chanel Number no. 5. This is also one of my most used fragrance when I go to work. It's perfect for dates as well. I feel like this scent is very appealing to both male and female. It's just very fresh, light, floral, feminine, and it's not very invasive at all. The good thing about Chanel is that their scents are very long lasting on me. I, I like to spray some on my body and then also spray some on my coat or my scarf that I'm wearing. This is definitely my all time favorite scent from Chanel and probably one of my top favorite scents overall. So if you have never purchased a luxury perfume and you want kind of your first ever scent, I definitely recommend this one. Now my largest collection of perfume is definitely Jo Malone and my all time favorite scent from Jo Malone is the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. I've gone through like three bottles of this already. It's just my standard spring scent. I pull this out every single spring or whenever I feel like I want to lighten up my mood a little bit. This is the scent I go for. I love to pair this scent with something a little more neutral, for example, the um, white jasmine and mint. This is a beautiful pair. I love to wear this during the spring and summer. White jasmine and mint. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to call this a old lady perfume, but it definitely smells a lot more mature and green. So I like to just add in the nectarine blossom and honey to just neutralize it a little bit and make it a little more young and lightly. Now the other two fragrances I like to use together are the earl gray and cucumber and the black cedarwood and juniper cologne. Especially the black cedarwood and juniper. This has got to be my favorite winter scent. It smells so luxury. Wow. It gives me the image of like a bookstore with a fireplace. That's kind of how I associate this scent. It pairs very very well with the Earl Grey and Cucumber which is just slightly more fresh um, and has notes of like tea in it. So I feel like the two of these really pair well together. Uh, when I spray this on, I just feel powerful, intelligent, and I love to wear this during the fall and winter time. Now the next fragrance is a classic. Uh, this is my second bottle as well. This is the Velocicus perfume from Diptyque. This is one of my all-time favorite scents and it, it was my signature scent for a really, really long time. I was very into like green scents, you know, scents that smell like garden, vines, like that, that was the type of scent I was really into during like the college and grad school phase. And oh, this perfume. If you like fig scents, and not the, the scent of like fig the fruit, but like fig leaves, this is, this is it. Um, it's one of my favorite fig scents I have ever come across and um, it's just so unique. Every time I spray it on, like people always ask me, oh, what, what's, what's the scent that you have on? Um, it's so unique and definitely has its own identity. So if you want to be different from other people, um, I think this is a very unique and recognizable scent. All right, next up, I have the Gypsy Water from Byredo. Gypsy Water is a very unique scent. It definitely makes me think about outdoors, like going hiking, like being in the forest, discovering waterfalls, I don't know why, but these are the images I associate with this fragrance. It has notes of like bergamot and I think pine. I, I smell a little bit of pine and like woodiness to it. Initially when I just got the scent, uh, I felt like it wasn't really very me, but now that I, I think I got older and I, the scent is really growing on me and I, I really, I really have been enjoying this scent recently. So this is definitely a newer addition to my collection. This is the Chloe Nomade perfume. This is also 
something super unique in my collection. This is such a feminine fragrance, like it cannot get any more feminine. And it almost smells a little sexy to me, which is not the typical scent I go for. I really like to go for like light and non-invasive fragrance. I think this one, depends on how you describe it, like sometimes I feel like it could be a little bit too much. I would describe this as a evening fragrance. It is floral, but it is warm. Um, almost feel like blankets wrapping around you, that type of warmth. You can definitely feel the warmth in the fragrance. I would say it is a nice evening date fragrance, but just use it with a light hand because it could be a little bit too much. My only travel size perfume that I own is this one from Replica. This is the Beach Walk. This was the one I took on to my honeymoon. I absolutely love it. It just smells like beach to me. You can smell the sea salt, the ocean waves, like you can smell those notes um, in this fragrance. It's the perfect, perfect beach fragrance. I typically don't really like this type of beachy scent, like salty fragrance. It's just not my thing, but this is very unique. It doesn't smell too strong and it doesn't have like a musky end note. It smells very clean, aquatic, ocean. I would say if you like summery fragrances, you would definitely like this and it's very long lasting on the skin as well. My only solid perfume in my collection is the Diptyque uh, perfume in Dosan. I really, really love this scent. I even hit pan on this solid perfume already. It, it is a beautiful scent. This is my kind of sexy. It is not provocative, but it's very feminine. And I love how the solid perfume is packaged. It's heavy and it looks nice and it lasts very long on the skin, but the scent is not very strong. Like if you stand a little bit, maybe like a feet away from me, you wouldn't be able to smell it. But if we like hug each other, you definitely be able to smell the scent. So I like that. I like how private it is. I love the scent profile overall. I really have been thinking about purchasing this in the bottle but I couldn't really justify it because it's, you know, of course very expensive. I would probably consider purchasing this in a bottle later on after I finish this. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite scents from Dupique. The newest addition to my collection, I got this as a Christmas gift, and this is the Laura Mercier Ember Vanilla Perfume. This is definitely not my typical scent. It smells very sweet and vanilla-y and woody almost. But now I really kind of like it. I don't know if you have tried the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil, this kind of reminds me of that scent. It not only have amber and vanilla, it also has notes of like almond in it, at least to me. Um, it's a very warm fragrance, definitely more fall and winter scent. And I actually like how it smells, like it's growing on me a little bit. So uh, if you like more sweet and warm fragrance, definitely give this a try. All right, moving on to home scents. So these are the stuff that I use around the house. First are a couple of diffuser oils. I like to use diffusers about an hour before I go to bed. I'll just turn my Muji diffuser on and it will just give a little bit of moisture in the room. And it also makes me calm down and get ready for the bed. And my favorite diffuser oil ever is the Aesop Catherine oil. This is like hands down my favorite oil to use when I try to prepare to sleep. Um, it is so calming and makes me think of like a meditation place for some reason, it just calms my soul. It has notes of orange rind, cedar, atlas, and clove bud. Yeah, that describes the scent. It's not too spicy in the end though, although it has notes of clove in it, but it doesn't really smell very spicy. And I just love it. It just calms my soul, you know? It's my favorite um, diffuser scent. And the other one I use is from Muji. This is their Pure Essential Oil in Smile. This is a very typical like citrusy scent. It just smells like orange peel. To me, like very straightforward. I actually like to use this in the morning sometimes. Like if I woke up and just felt like I wasn't very rested, like I didn't sleep very well, um, then I would put a few drops of this in and then just turn on my diffuser and just kind of wakes me up a little bit. Instead of the Catherine oil, which is a little more nighttime, a little more warm. Uh, so I feel like this is a bedtime type of oil. This one is like a morning, uh, wake me up type of essential oil. The newest one to my collection is this one from Vitruvi. And this one is very special. Like I don't have anything like this in my collection. It smells very, I would say unisex, almost a little masculine <laughs> to me. It definitely has a kick of spiciness to it. I definitely mix this with other oil to like neutralize the scent a little bit, but this smells like fresh towels from hotels um, with notes of like peppercorn. Like I, I don't know if it actually has peppercorn in there, probably not, but somehow it just smells a little bit spicy towards the end. This is so unique. I don't know if you guys even know what this is. I didn't know what this is. I also got this as a gift this year. This is the scented cards from Zara. You just hang this either in your car or like in your closet. It's like you can just tie this around things and like put it in your closet and it just makes your closet 
or your car smells amazing. So I put one piece in my closet already, and I have to tell you, this really works. Just it's a piece of paper, but like it really makes my entire closet smells amazing. The scent I got is Green Herbs, and this one smells like botanical garden. It is floral, but also green. Ugh, it's totally my type of scent. Uh, definitely smells more spring to me. Very fresh type of fragrance. And I have uh, put a scent card in my closet for a little over a week already, and it's, my closet still smells amazing. So it lasts pretty long as well. Another home scent I have got so much compliment on is the Cashmere Fig. I sprayed this on to my Christmas tree the other day, and then um, our friends came over for a movie night, and she walked in and she was like, what is this smell? Like, oh my god, your house smells so amazing. So I was super happy about that. This is such a unique scent. It is very warm, definitely my uh, winter scent for the house, and it makes my house just smells very luxury and high-end. And my final home scent is also from Zara. I also got this as a gift and this is pure gardenia. This one is definitely my typical type of scent. It is light and floral and very appealing. Um, I like to spray this on my towels. I actually did um, put this on my shower towels and it makes my towels smell absolutely amazing. But that's it for my updated perfume collection. I hope this is a little bit helpful. I am not very good at describing scents, so I'll put links to all the different perfumes down below so you can go to their website and actually check out all the notes in the perfume. I would love to know what is your current favorite perfume. I always like to explore new scents, so if you have a favorite perfume that you would like to share with me, please comment down below in the comment box. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Bye!